Why do river curve? According to experts all it takes is a little disturbance and a lot of time. It's a good thing nature has plenty of both. If one bank of a river is disturbed and begins to crumble, water fills the hole and sweeps away loose dirt. Over time, this creates a bigger and bigger hole in the river bank. As the water begins to rush faster through the new opening, it slows on the opposite river bank. Because slow-moving water can't carry as much weight as fast-moving water, loose dirt and rocks build up on that side, making it more shallow. Eventually, the buildup creates new land and a new curve in the river's watercourse. The new curve causes the water running against the outside bank to pick up enough momentum that it slams into the opposite bank further down the river, creating another curve. As more time passes, the rushing water creates more and more curves downstream. Even though the wider the river, the longer the distance is to the next curve, the creation of these curves tends to happen in a similar pattern all over the world. Generally speaking, the length of one S-shaped curve is about six times the width of the river.